Hello, I'm Mrs. Bernard Wallen, the Assistant Principal at Lakeshore Middle School. I will be showing you how to understand and read your schedule. So here's an example of a student's schedule. The important things to take a look at are the term, the course name, the teacher's name, and the room number. And we'll talk about what this is over here as well. So if we take a look at the term, you'll notice most courses are 20 to 2021, which means it's a full year course. Then when we get down here, we have S1, which means first semester, and then S2, which means second semester. Our year is broken into four quarters and two semesters. So semester one ends about January 24th, and then January 25th begins the second semester. The quarters are broken down into Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4, meaning that the student will only take health during the first quarter. Each quarter is about 10 weeks. So let's take a look here at expression. If you take a look over here, you'll notice that this student has Miss Conrad for English every day, days one through six, and also period nine on days one. If we look down here, you'll also notice that this student takes keyboarding the first semester on days two, four, and six. Opposite of keyboarding, they have physical education. You can tell that's the same because it says P6, which is period six, right here, and that this would be on day one, the student would go here, and days two, the student would go here, three here, and so on and so forth. Because students are only attending school two days a week, you'll notice that one day will always be even, and one day will always be odd. Hopefully this helps you understand a middle school schedule.